Hello, hi, this is Mike Kazala, and this is Private Snafu in the home front. What a horrible blizzard. This is where Snafu has been stationed. Oof. Just for the convenience of a joke, there's one nut per wheel on the Jeep. But uh, a lot of these scenes you'll see here of uh, and this setup is Arthur Davis, one of my favorite animators, working for Frank Tashlin, the director. You'll see in a moment, Art Davis is exceptional even at animating inanimate objects. <laughs> so that is one of the best pounding scenes I've ever seen. Uh, Art Davis. Would, uh, oh, this is another clever thing. That's a series of vertical pans that cross dissolves. You almost don't notice it. Yeah. And trickier to do a, you know, a vertical than horizontal pan, which is much more difficult in those days. It's, it's all one scene so far, just trucked in the same setup. And uh, here are a lot of these scenes in the house. Cal Dalton did. Uh, And the grandfather, too. But I guess the whole theme of this cartoon is dealing with resentment. Uh, thinking you're here and they're back having a good time. And this is something here to keep the soldiers awake. Which is probably why these scenes are running a little bit longer than they would have if it was an entertainment short. <laughs> and uh, here we have the great I Izzy Ellis. Back to Arthur Davis, yeah. Uh, Frank Tashlin, the, the director here, would soon be leaving animated cartoons and becoming a successful live action writer and director. Working with a lot of big stars, particularly Bob Hope and Jerry Lewis. Brass monkeys. The, uh, they don't mean literally brass monkeys. There's an explanation for this, but I don't know what it is. This is something you probably wouldn't want to animate if you didn't have to. But since it was for the war effort. For planning a victory garden, which. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> Manure. We are never allowed to mention manure by name, even though we can make it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure how they did those scenes. They could have either attempted a wipe or a shoot it in reverse with a scratch off. Now, there's some of these scenes coming up with the ships pulling out that may have been done with cutouts. There was probably too many layers for the peg bar. Oh, there was a layer. Yes, they had a layer error there when shooting that. Um, but all in all, to assure the soldiers that the home front is still working for them. I like the cutback, the trucking and cutback was for a good effect. <laughs> the end.